first off, Grace, let's start with you. Um, the decision to go at this point uh, in, in your life, what went into the decision and why ultimately uh, did you want to make that choice? I mean, I just thought it was a great opportunity. I couldn't pass up and it had nothing to do with Notre Dame. I've loved coming here, um, but I'm looking to prepare for my next chapter and I think it was a really good opportunity. What was the experience like going down there, getting to visit, getting to see that place? Everybody hears about it on TV and things like that, but what was it like to actually be down there? It was crazy. I mean, they have some great technology. The coaches are amazing. Um, everyone there is like-minded. Everyone wants to be their best. They're all motivated. Um, so yeah, it was, it was really nice. Um, what was the ultimate like, deciding factor? Was there, like, a, a thing where you, was there like a moment where it clicked for you that, all right, this is probably the best choice for me? When I went down there and I heard some people talking about it, just everyone had such positive things to say about it. And it just, I mean, it seemed amazing. And I was really excited when I was down there. Um, just to be able to use everything they have, all the people training me, um, all the opportunities I could get. It was just really cool. Um, telling your friends, uh, what was that like? I, I, that probably had to be one of the tougher parts of this thing is coming back and having to tell all your friends, right? Yeah, I mean, it was tough because I want to spend senior year with my friends, but everyone is super supportive of, supportive of me and they all understand. Um, so, I mean, everyone took it great. They're super supportive and I've never had a better family here. Travis, for you, when, when, when you got the news, um, obviously you want to have Grace here. She's an unbelievable player. She's been so good here for you guys. Um, what was the news like to get for you? Obviously, I, it was like, wow, this is happening. And, uh, you know, I was excited for Grace, but obviously for, for you know, uh, selfishly, I was like, man, I just love to see her play one more year with us. But, um, you know, it was an opportunity that her and her family decided that, that was best for her. And I think that's a parent's job to do. And they do what's best for their, you know, what they think is best for their, their child. Um, and that's one reason she came to Notre Dame to begin with, because they thought Notre Dame was the best place for her at that time. So, um, you know, I was in shock a little bit and, and honestly still in shock a little bit now. Um, but we are, we're very excited for Grace. and and uh, obviously she's got a bright future ahead of her um, next year and, and beyond. What has she meant to this program the last few years? You know, the very first interview I ever did about Grace, I talked about her work ethic and how she's a coach's dream. Um, she's a you know 4.0 student, no issues ever discipline-wise, in the gym, works harder than everybody, um, always on time, no drama. I mean, it was just, it's been a great, tremendous three years. Um, and she's meant a ton to our program, obviously not just success wise and obviously that she's, she's meant a lot with that, but just to help build our program um, and, and continue to build our program. Um, you know, Grace has kind of set the, set the standard very high for us and uh, our younger kids got to see how hard she works and, and we're excited to see some of our younger kids now progress. Um, and that, that includes the kids that are currently in our program plus the freshmen we have, you know, coming in and, and even our, our junior academy players that got to see her um, practice when they came in for practice after us. So Grace has been tremendous for us um, and we wish her nothing but the very best. Uh, what has your time at Notre Dame meant to you? What have the, the last three years been like? I mean amazing. I've never wanted, if I could go over and do it again I would definitely do it. I would not make any other decision. Um, it's been truly like a home and like the culture here is just crazy. You hear everyone talk about it but you can't really experience it unless you come here um, and I'm so grateful for it. What's next for you along this process? Obviously, you've got a, a big college decision coming up. Um, what is this summer going to be like for you? A lot of visits in June, especially. Um, it's going to be a really crazy summer. Um, just because of COVID and all the rules and stuff, we can finally go out and visit. Um, still have a bunch of big decisions coming, but I'm excited. You're, you're a junior in high school, and you've got so many big decisions. Like, there's so much on your plate. How are you handling? all of this and now you throw one more thing in there. I mean, the support I get is crazy, both from the community here at Notre Dame, community outside of it, my family. Everyone is just so supportive of everything I do. They make sure it's my decision. Um, I mean, obviously they give it input, but in the end it's my decision and I'm really grateful for that. Um, but yeah, everyone's just so supportive. I've never met anyone here has not been supportive of me. Obviously, um you know, Grace is going to be, be missed here. She is not not just on the basketball court, but in the in the halls and the community and all that. But uh, you know, I want to reiterate how proud we are of Grace, uh, not just of her accomplishments on the floor, but of her accomplishments in the classroom and the community, and how that we all all of us are very very supportive of her and her decision because we know it was a tough decision, um, and we wish her nothing but the very best. Yeah, I mean, I just like to say I've loved coming here. 
and it had nothing to do with anything with Notre Dame. It was just a great opportunity. I didn't think I should pass up, um, but yeah, I would not change it for the world.